What's up guys, today I got a 2020 Jeep Gladiator for you. So stay tuned for the video. So starting off on the front of this Jeep Gladiator, we got our 3.6 liter VVT V6 engine, 285 horsepower, 260 pounds feet of torque. Then that's gonna get you 17 in the city and 22 on the highway. Then as you come to the front, we got our big circular LED lights. And then we got our lights on the side, as you can see. Then we got our matte black grill with our tow hooks. Then we got our fog lights at the bottom. So making my way to the side, I'm actually show you this cool feature that Jeep uses for this hood. So it's actually latched on. So just do that, then latch it on. Then I already got the other side latched on, so it's good now. But as you come to the side, we got our 285 millimeter tires on a 17 inch rim. Love the color of the rims. It goes perfect with this car, perfect with the tires. As you come to the side, you got your trail rated badge, then you got the Jeep badge, Gladiator sticker. Then I just love how this car comes along. Then I'm gonna just walk around for you. Got the bed on the top of it. Then as you can see, we got our red tow hooks at the bottom. Blacked out, real on the back, the tow and stuff right here. Then we got our backup camera. Then I'm gonna open this. That's what it looks like on the inside. Pretty good amount of space. Then I just finished giving y'all a view of this gladiator. So coming to the front door, we got a little bit of soft touch right there, silver handle. Then we got our mirror adjustments and then lock unlock with storage. And then as you can see, we do not have our window controls and I'll show you that later on in the video. But as I come in, we got our lighting adjustments right there, turn signals. Then we have our windshield wiper controls. Then this is what the odometer looks like. Then I'll go through a few settings for y'all, show y'all all the information that it previews. All right, now time to come to the steering wheel. We got our speedometer adjustments right there, phone controls right there, voice command. And then as we come to the side, of course, we got our adaptive cruise control settings. Then we had this nice size Uconnect screen on it, pretty responsive. Then as I go down, we got our volume, then tune settings for the radio. Then we have our air conditioning settings. Then we have our Mute right there, auto start stop, stability control settings. Then we have more adaptive cruise control settings right there with the screen off. Then we have our hazard lights. Then we got a 12 volt charger right there. USBs and auxiliary cord. Then this is actually where our window controls are. And then I'll show y'all what it's like using these. All right. Then this is where you can change your driving axles, off-road, plus, and then the sway bar button. Then we got a little bit of storage area right there. Then right here, you can change your driving from two-wheel high, four-wheel high, normal, and then four-wheel low. Then this is what our gear shift looks like. Go over for manual mode. Then we got our cup holders. Brake right there. Then we got our leather touch on the top. Do it one time, that's what comes up. Press the button one more time. That's when it comes to the deep part. Then we got a USB. Then as I said, this is pretty deep, so it'll have, it's good for storage. Then we got that nice Rubicon on both of our seats. Red stitching. This is what the glove compartment looks like. This is deep as well, so pretty good storage by Jeep. Then this is just what the rest of the front seat looks like.
Another pretty cool feature about this Jeep as well is the lights. I love how they have these lights at the top, LED. Then we got a speaker right there, a speaker right there. Then as you can see, our power slide window in the back. This is what it looks like all around. So coming to the back door, pretty similar to the first. You got a little bit of soft touch storage. Then here's the nice seats in the back with the red stitching. Then that's what the back seat looks like. We got our air vents right there. And then all of our USBs. Then we have a plug right there. Two cup holders right there. And then I'm actually going to pop in and see what six feet looks like in the back seat of this. So leg room, I'm six foot. This is pretty good actually. Then as far as head room, plenty of All right guys, that'll sum everything up with this Jeep Gladiator. Drop a like, drop a comment, subscribe. Let me know what cars you want to see me review. Then I'll take that in consideration. But otherwise, thank y'all for watching.